We're on the seventh journal entry, y'all. What's up, man? What's up? We back. I was really supposed to make a seventh journal entry last weekend, but I was performing a lot overnight and doing some things. Honestly, there's no excuse. I just woke up early to do it. If I wasn't doing something else, I don't remember, but I probably could have just did it at some point in the day. But woke up, I'm here. Um, I like watched that episode of One Piece, you know what I mean? Because One Piece is awesome. So, how I'm feeling. So, I've been feeling really disciplined. Like, I've been really disciplined. I've been waking up 5 30, 6, you know, every single morning to go to the gym. That's the first thing that I do. And, you know, thank God for this remote job. Uh, I'm able to do that. I'm able to just like wake up very early and go to the gym, get everything I need done, eat my breakfast, my protein breakfast after that, and, you know, get to working and making these calls. I'm trying to work on some other disciplines as well. I want to get back on semen retention because that shit is not easy for me. I know there's benefits in it. Um, I've, I've experienced the benefits in it. You know, I like having something inside of me that nobody knows when you're, you're like hiding something you're being mysterious or you just got disciplines or you just, you just work hard you know people could sense that so i think that's what i miss about semen retention because i feel like people could genuinely like feel that off of me as far as my workouts go i've been working on my legs a lot more often because i find that you know you, you gotta have legs man you gotta have legs i remember working really hard on my legs one of these days and I left the gym and I was running. I got a compliment from a chick. She was like, hey, legs. And I was like, oh, it's game time. So that that really motivated me. I ain't gonna lie, because y'all know, you know, man, we don't really get a lot of compliments. Even if you hear something, like, I get compliments, like my hair, my tattoos, whatever, my eyebrows and shit. You know what I mean? It's not very often. So that shit stuck with me because it mattered, because I was working really hard on my legs. So that's how I know I gotta keep going. Um, you know, you don't wanna have a strong ass upper body and then skinny ass legs can't even hold up the rest of your body so facts how is the job i mean as of recently i mean they, they've been paying me every week whatever they've been paying me but i haven't gotten a deal i haven't gotten an actual sale yet so that's how that's going no lies it's been pretty tough uh you know I, i've had chances to get sales though it's not like you know the leads are horrible we have decent leads it's just you know i got i guess i gotta get better at um just scheduling these calls, man, and making it making it go, you know. But other than that, I mean, I'm, I'm probably gonna do it for the rest of this month. You know, see, see if I get another, see if I get a sale. Other than that, my relationship with God has been. I actually couldn't sleep. It was like three, four in the morning. I woke up. I couldn't sleep because I just kept thinking about responsibilities. I kept thinking about where the fuck am I going? Where am I now? Why isn't shit the way it's supposed to be going? Why? You know, and I was just thinking about all these things, and I was thinking about my ego. You know, I just, I just, I made like a drawing. You know, I woke up, I started writing in my notebook, and I, I drew something similar to this. Let me see. Um, is it backwards? I hope it's not backwards. Whatever. But basically, even if it's backwards, there's this thing. It's called my ego, right? And it's the source of all my pain. And basically, this ego is how I'm supposed to look, how I'm supposed to be, how I'm supposed to feel, how I think I'm, or where I'm supposed to be and how I'm supposed to see myself and how other people are supposed to view me. That is the source of all my pain. And obviously we need our ego. We need our pride, we need our ego because it protects us from outside dangers. It helps us to have more self-respect, especially when we meet our own expectations. But the problem is when we don't meet those expectations, you can have low self-esteem. You can have an inflated ego that doesn't align with your actions that does that doesn't align with what your your actual life is like you know i just was thinking about that i was thinking mad deep and shit we'll go back four and one i was like how do i how do i separate myself from this because there was a point in time before i came into the truth before i came into god that i like i felt like i had erased my ego because i was reading the four agreements i was reading the way of the peaceful warrior great books by the way it just taught me to just have a healthy separation between my ego and myself being able to be at peace and be content with myself no matter where I am in life no matter what mistakes I've made and no matter how things are always be content and at peace with yourself because that's what matters most and don't let anything outside of yourself take that from you I feel like I lost that because like how God looks at me is pretty similar to how I view myself because God already puts the answers in you you know you just gotta pray on it and be quiet so that you can actually hear the answers he already put inside you and you know 
when you wake up at four in the morning thinking about responsibilities, bro, you used to doing something wrong. So I'm clearly doing something wrong, right? So I had to, I had to like draw this out because the pain I was feeling in my heart, like the pain I was feeling in my head and in my heart was just, like I had to make sense of it. I had to make sense of it. It wasn't just like, just me killing myself over my expectations, but I have to make sense of it so that I don't feel any unnecessary suffering. Obviously, if you're waking up at a certain time, if you're not sleeping at night because of responsibilities, you're doing something wrong or you could be doing something better, right? So I just, I had to draw this out and my answer and my solution to all this was I need to get closer to God. Not just separating myself from my ego to be okay with myself, but I need to be in a good place with the most high. Like, I, like the next day I had court, I think it was yesterday or two days ago, I had court and I was just reading my Bible and I had, I have to like, get back into my Bible because that's the only way I feel peace to be honest nowadays like if I'm not making music if I'm not releasing the pain through music or through my workout and even I'm not even at peace with my workout because like during my workout is when I have to remember all my pain and and push put it into my in my gains you know so the only way I feel peace is when I read my Bible is when I'm, I'm putting my focus redirecting the attention on God so that was the solution I came up with because I know God gonna, gonna have me regardless you know he, I, I, man, the most high, the father, man, he, he gonna have you feeling right and then doing right. So that was my solution, man. That was the only thing that could, that came to my head. Like, first, I need to relax, take a step away from my ego, all right, and get right with the most high so I can really feel like I'm in my purpose again. Because I've been working like I'm in my purpose, but I don't feel like I'm in my purpose. I don't know if y'all be feeling that way, but I was... That's how I've been feeling. I was just like pushing it down because I had so much shit, you know, working on a lot of shit. But, you know, I guess the other night, that's that's when it just like, just blew up. That's where we at with it, man. So as far as my relationship with God goes, because I know in my other videos, I was saying that my relationship with God and how we communicate is through my actions and, and yeah, through actions. But now I feel like it's important. Now I'm getting into the season where I need to get back into reading i need to get get back into the scriptures for real this time and it's winter man it's like hibernation season you know bulk season whatever that's when you really got time to yourself i guess a little more time to like read and shit since, you know days are shorter so you know it's really when, when you gotta lock in when you really gotta just just you it's just you man it's just you versus you and then you and god you know what i mean but yeah that, that that's where i'm at with it man just gotta, gotta get close to the most high as far as reading now I gotta take it more serious. As far as what's new is, this ain't nothing new. Work all week, then hit a party on the weekend with my crew. Nah, they, they ain't nothing new. I ain't gonna lie. I just been, my discipline is, is pretty much the only thing that's new. I've been waking up mad early to go to the gym every day. And I've been doing that consistently, so. That's the only thing that's new. But other than that, it's like, I ain't really new. Just been, just working, you know, staying focused. That's pretty much it. But. As far as what's next, actually no, what's new is also I've been learning more about YouTube algorithms and things like that so that I know how to post my videos better and you know I've just been gaining more experience just posting videos and watching videos on how to do, how to actually post. I've been learning more about it and gaining more experience and seeing what works and what doesn't. So now I feel like I'm more, I'm better equipped at doing things. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm you know, every day I'm getting better at doing things better. So. I guess that's what's new. And what's next is just doing the same thing, you know, just doing it better. Doing the same thing, but doing it better. That's it. Hitting the gym, hitting it harder. Staying in the scripture, receiving more downloads from the most high. Posting videos, tweaking the algorithm, playing with the algorithm better. You know what I mean? So just doing what I'm doing, but better. And that's pretty much the plan. That's pretty much the plan. And we're going to keep going, you know, we're going to keep going from there. I'm going to make a really good video soon and see what sticks and i'm pay for promotion i'm just gonna go up from there that's pretty much it I, that's the plan that i have you know probably gonna go back to a nine to five if like i really don't get a sale like i'm gonna just go back to a nine to five stable income and just do it that way so i ain't gonna lie i ain't really got no problem with that i was just caught up in this idea like i need to get rich i need money fast but it's like man it's not always about how much money you make because most of the time it's about how much money you spend and if you're spending a lot of fucking money, because I notice that every time I start making more money, I, I want to upgrade my lifestyle and, and like have all these bills on top of me and shit. Because I'm like, nigga, it looks good, but then shit falls on top of me again. So that's what I need to get smarter with. You know, doing the same thing, but doing it better. And as far as things that I can improve on is exactly that, literally. My expenses, you know, my expenses, you know, eat it out less, you know, uh, being more smart with my purchases and my investments. 
you know, I just bought a bunch of Bitcoin as well, cause uh, now I mean Trump's in the office. I don't know. I feel like shit gonna crash and shit gonna whoop. So, you know what I mean? So, yeah, facts. As far as that goes, I mean, what can I improve on other than that? Yeah, I can always do the same thing, but do it better. Old things that I'm doing now, just doing it better. That's it. Just got, and that goes, that comes with consistency. So that's it. I just gotta stay consistent. That's it. Um, that's that's where I am right now. Who knows? Next week I might be depressed. Next week I might be happy. Next week I might be rich. Next week I might be homeless. Who fucking knows, man? Hope this camera stays with me, and I know God gonna be with me. So, yeah. Seventh journal entry. That's where we at with it, man. Thank you guys for watching. Love y'all.